Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a tag video. I was tagged by Kenny Nicole and it's called Tag Your It. So um, it's got six questions and I'm going to work my way through them. I'm going to have to pause between things because um, I'm going to have to get on Instagram and uh, YouTube and talk about those things. So, um, But the first question is, tell us about your YouTube and actual name. Okay, my YouTube channel is Moon Baby Nails. And um, I came up with it because uh, I was born on July 19th, 1969. It was when the Americans landed on the moon. And uh, so it kind of ties in with my real name, too. Um, I was born very premature. I was about two months early, and I was super tiny. So my name, Tina, comes from being tiny, Tiny Tina. And then my middle name is Diane for Diana the Moon Goddess because with us landing on the moon that day, they wanted to incorporate that into my name. So, I got Tina Diane, Moon Goddess, and then I decided when I opened my channel on YouTube that it needed to be Moon Baby something, or Moon something. So, I came up with the Moon Baby Nails, and um, so far it's working for me. I remember it. I don't have trouble keeping up with it. Okay, the next one is the Instagram question, so I'm going to pause, and I'm going to get that geared up, and I'll be right Okay, back. I got it, and the next one is open Instagram and talk about the first three images. Now, I don't have a fancy cell phone, so I don't get to do that stuff on my little phone, but I do have my little tablet, and here is the first image that I see. I'm supposed to talk about the first three images. This it looks like a print, and it's a flamingo with greenery behind it, and this was posted by Chris Thon. And I always love Chris because she's always got that Florida vibe going on. And, um, okay, now it's going to lock up. <laughs> Great. So, um, anyway, I always do love seeing everything Chris. Chris, could, she does to some the coolest, like, beachy nails and tropical vibe nails and stuff. So, that's the first one. And if I can get my tablet tacked right. We'll head on to the next one. Okay, the next one is from Sister Chick, and it was the um, new collection by China Glaze, My Little Pony, or something like that. And um, it sounds like Miss Deborah was not impressed. I haven't tried any of the little My Little Pony polishes from China Glaze. Um, nothing really spoke to me when that collection came out. And so I haven't picked up any, and I don't really have an opinion on them, but I, I do value Miss Deborah's opinion because she definitely knows a thing or two about um, quality of nail polish and formulas and that sort of thing. So um, that was the second one. So we got Chris's tropical print, and then we've got Miss Deborah's beautiful inspection of the new collection from China Glaze. So to get to the third one, I'll be right back. Y'all, technology's just killing me today. Okay, so the third thing on Instagram. This is why I don't do Instagram. Do you guys see how frustrated I am? Okay, this is why I don't do it. So, I'm not doing it. Um, the next one, <laughs> the last one from Instagram is, um, it's a picture, it's a posted picture by Jam Jams 96 another friend of mine's. Um, and this is a beautiful manicure. It looks like there's kind of a smishy thing going on in the background, but it's got a guitar and musical notes and roses, and it's just very delicate looking, and it is very, very pretty. I always love getting to see what she's been up to because she does some beautiful manicures. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, let me get this turned off and get away from this tablet. Okay, I just right thought back. I was putting it up. We're going to go on and be frustrated for just a minute longer. Okay, the next question or statement or number three is, is open YouTube and talk about the first three videos. Okay, the first video is by Jody's Polish and it is Shop My Nail Polish Stash number eight. Now, I love this series of hers. I think it's really great. It makes you um, focus on things that are already in your collection and, you know, get you to use them. Especially if you buy the way I do. You buy it faster than you can wear it. So, that's awesome. Go check out Miss Jody. And then the next one is Secret Jewel Garden. And this one's Lemon and Lime Smoothie Madam Glam Nail Stamping Art Tutorial. And it looks really cool. It's like green with um, yellow lemons stamped on it. it. looks really nice. 
And then the next one is by our dear friend, Miss Claire Gray. And this one is her 1K giveaway draw. So um, it looks like she's got a lot of really cool stuff there. And uh, a lot of my favorite people. Of course, I, I like all my people. So, <laughs> okay, now I'm for really turning this off. I want, you know, I want to get away from this and, and not think about it anymore. So I'm just going to like sit that away. <laughs> Number four. Number four, do you listen to anything when you polish your nails? A lot of times when I polish my nails, I'm talking to the camera or whatever, you know, or sometimes I'm not. And if I'm not, if I know that I'm going to do a voiceover, if it's something I'm going to really need to edit, then I will have the TV on. It's right here beside me. And I normally, like, listen to HGTV or um, something like that. I don't do a lot of TV watching. So, next, number five is do you have a favorite nail polish prop or prop in your videos? Probably not. I don't, um, I do like having an uber mat and being, a, and I like having it clear so that you, I can slide different things, backgrounds under it. So I guess that might be one of my favorites. I like that. Um, it's the only thing I can think of. I try to swap them out occasionally. I don't do it every time but you know sometimes I do change it out because I know a lot of times y'all are just seeing my hands you're not seeing my face so I do like to do that so it's not the same boring thing every time in three seconds name the first polish that pops into your head that you would repurchase ruby pumps <laughs> that's my first one and um that's uh, and I and the other one there is one more that I would definitely buy again and it's the Cirque Memento Mori, the one cutter black. I would hands down buy that one in a heartbeat. So, that is all the answers to all of the questions or prompts. Some of them were questions, some of them were prompts. So, you know, we're just going to let it be what it is. And um, as far as tagging people, um, Kenny Nicole did a really good job of tagging a lot of people. She tagged probably everybody I would have thought to tag. But, if you haven't been tagged, if you have not done this tag, you need to do this tag. It's a little different. It's a little fun. I had to cheat. I had to print them out. Um, but it was different. It was fun. And I would love to see everybody do it. And I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Kenny, I'm sorry it took me a minute to do this. But um, I'm always behind. So, uh, But at least I got it. I did it. Yay! That is it. That is all I have for you today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.